next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Jay the Prince in the building, my guy. Love, bro. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you for having me. Hey, man. It's I think it's almost been, it's been like a little over a year and a half when you were like, yo, when we doing it on the radar, we finally here, bro. Yo, right? Took we long enough, it, man. man. We made it. How you been, bro? I've been good. Health-wise, good. Uh, mentally good. Emotionally good. Got nothing to complain about. What about you? Bless me. Oh, thank you for asking. Oh, I, yeah. no, I mean, I'm, notice I'm, me. I'm mad people. I, yeah. That's I'm, me. Yeah, yeah, I'm great, bro. The year's off to a, a weird start, but in like a good way and a bad way. But, yeah. you know, that's how this music should go. You feel yeah, me? That's how life go. How you been, Um, you know, you said that mentally good, everything's been good. Like, how you been keeping yourself level, bro? How you, how you been keeping yourself kind of centered? God? Yeah, that's the only way. God, okay. <laughs> There's no other way for have, me. I was like, going to say, have you always been this religious too? I've just always been having faith. Mm. And I feel like I'm where I'm at for a reason because of that. Um just me manifesting my whole life from a young buck being where i'm from and being able to grind telling everyone on the block yo i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and then fucking doing it yeah it's dope it's amazing and being positive and remaining who it's true to who you are right that's it get back come back and do it again right and i feel like you've always had that like Hustle, like it's always like, yo, I always got something going on, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I always life. got something new, you know. Whether it be like when you, you know, you tried out some of the, you know, doing some drill records to also obviously the tape that came out last year, which congratulations, of course. Like, thank you, Jay. I always got something going on, and, and I love to see yo, that, you know what I'm saying? I got too much music right now, though. Like, I gotta look this way for the team because <laughs> we got at least the last three weeks, I probably like did like a whole last, like another two projects. But altogether, we got like four, like four to six in the cannon. Okay. So now it's just all about rearranging, cause I'm the 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 stuff I'm making now is like phenomenal. So we probably gonna drop real soon. I'm a, I'm gonna check out what's going on, and then we are gonna decide when. What did what have these last three weeks really been like? Like what has been like? What kind of has sparked this level of? work that you've done these past couple weeks and also kind of like i guess the what's what i'm looking for kind of like the new like what's gotten you so excited these past couple weeks about this music that you've been making too well it's because i know i got a lot of music i got a bunch of music um it's not even just the last couple of weeks well for me it's just being like mentally mentally i balance with myself that's what matters these that's why i say these last couple of weeks because i'm like when you used to an environment you got to be able to like recreate your mind too you know because the environment we in can also lock us in mentally so uh that's why i had to like say like you know the last three weeks because i'm always recreating my mindset trying to change just what i'm doing and what the uh what the focus is because you could get uh sidetracked and tricked out of your your focus and your position mm. you feel me yeah so there's a lot of stuff going on that's why i just i'm thankful look at this guy <laughs> so yeah that's it. Uh, do you feel like, well, you know, you say get tricked out of like your mindfulness. Is that what you just said? No, I just get tricked out of, well, your, your mentality and just how you yeah. think. And then uh, not even just that, your, your spot. Like, you got a spot. I got a spot. We right. all got a spot in life of uh, the roles we play in our family and in our life and who we are. So that's why I say that because, you know. Do you feel like, not that you have been tricked out of that spot, but you feel like that, like the universe or things or forces, whatever, people have been like trying Temptation. to like. Get um, get you to step out of um, come out of character, I guess is a good way, or temptation, I guess too. I think I think Ji is just out of character. That's who Ji is. Mm -hmm. um, there's no character to Ji. Ji is what you interpret it. Justin is really who I am, and uh, I feel like yeah, what you said is definitely on point. We got a lot of people that, and now every day try to get us to get out of character. Driving here, you know how many people try to get us out of character. <laughs> Driving, crazy. driving down from upstate got to be like the one of the worst experiences just, every just single driving time. Driving anywhere, upstate, downstate, east state, west state, people be weird. Like it's not just maybe it's me. I mean, you know, what? let me own up and say maybe it's me. <laughs> but I can't even say that. I was talking with one of my closest friends yesterday, and we talking about an incident where we were on tour, and we in the middle of nowhere, and this dude just pull up and he start talking tongue to to uh, my my engineer. Like it sound like he not speaking English. He's speaking like. 
gibberish. Yeah. Cornfield kids in a cornfield type of shit. Like you just pull up, <laughs> your your truck stop, and now you got to worry about cults. Now yeah. you just left the hood. Now we got to worry about cults. Shit yeah. get real on the road. So <laughs> I don't even want to say what happened next for the sake of the community. It was funny though because <laughs> you, you see so many stuff, man. I go lie, the city that take me out of my character in terms of driving got to be Houston because Houston. Look, I love y'all. Oh, I, I love, love y'all. I love much. Houston. I love like it's my favorite state to go to. But the drivers in Houston Oof. cannot drive. Yeah, and that's a Texas too. You know, that's a stand your ground state, right? Absolutely. So yeah, you can't even play around out. You can't yeah. even raise your tone if you know unless you got that. You know. So I love Houston though for the culture and the the women. They got beautiful ladies all around the world. Best but woman. Houston is, they got like. Barbarians, you go there and they're like, "What's up?" And you're like, "Oh, barbarians is crazy." Hold on, time There's out. There's nothing wrong with a barbarian. You, I can't let you say that. I know about a good, Houston beautiful women. barbarian girl. I love barbarians. If you're a barbarian, own up to it. I'm a little barbarian. Calling, oh my! Ain't nothing wrong with that. Calling all the calling barbarians. Houston women barbarians is crazy. I look at like I'm just saying. Houston I'm a, women are just well fed. That's an, that's another way to say barbarian. <laughs> Am I am I am I lying? Let's just keep it a hundred. It's not another way to say barbarian. God bless them. God bless the, the Houston food women. over there is different and beautiful. Look, well, one way or another, um, dropped last year, man. Yes, sir. Um, dope tape. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Thank Again, you. congratulations on another project. Thank For you, kind of reflecting on the tape, especially now that we're in 2024. What? Well, one, do you feel like it did what you wanted it to do? And when you were creating it, what was some of the intent behind the creation of that project? It's funny. I never really. Whenever I drop a pro, <laughs> every project I've put out, I've had like a negative mindset until they like resurface, and mm -hmm. it takes time to do what it do. That was me with every project. That was me with Need Me. <coughs> I always second guess everything. I didn't even want really, to drop it. You don't even want to drop. If it was up to me, I would have never put Need Me out because I didn't wow. like the hook. They hit me mm -hmm. when you need. Me, I'm like, what the like? This is che it got cheesy to me after a while. Right. So I didn't see the vision, and then uh, everyone around me, like my manager, he saw the vision. And it was just, I was so in the, like, when you were in the process of cooking up, you got to put everything together, too, because I was cooking up so much that I wasn't even on me no more. I was already, I was on Blame On Me, really. Mm -hmm. That's the record I was really on and stuck on. So um, that's the record I thought would be the one, like, and it is the one, too. That's, you know, that's almost platinum. God bless. God but, bless, uh, man. Thank you. But um, Nimi did what it needed to and uh, made the kid global, so I'm thankful for Nimi, you know? You're not always right. Right, right. <laughs> but with this project, so then now, now looking, now taking what you learned from Need Me and, and all that, and like looking at this project too, right? One way or another, or the new ones that I got? No, not the new one that you got coming out. One way one or another. another yeah, yeah. One way or another. Like, what Facts. was going, like, what was going on behind, like, the scenes with the creation of this one? Like, did you have those same battles with a lot of this tape too? So, um, Baby Dawn, uh, Hood Life Crisis. Well, we stopped at three. So yeah, she. We might have to retire at four. And then just come with the album. We ain't even dropped the album yet. Um, so uh, one way or another, and I, I would say, at, like starting at HLK three, that's when like the battles were the same. Mm -hmm. Like you know, just that was like three years ago, two two to three years ago. So like that was that's why I said three weeks ago because that's that's how long it took for me to just clock out of my mentality. It doesn't matter. We in a space right now where we got to be able to clock out, you know, and recreate our brains, recreate the way we move, think, right, speak yeah. to people, treat people, because after a while, it's just going to be the same thing. You know, it's going to get old. It already gets old quick. Things yeah. nowadays gets old quick. Chopped cheese. I can't even eat a chopped cheese like that. I'd be tight because I just ate so much. I, I'm scared <laughs> for someone to be like, you want a chopped cheese? Because they know me for, for doing that. So I'm like, damn, like, let me try it. I might, the spot might be nice, but... You got to be able to change it up a bit, you know, so you could go back to the other stuff and really appreciate it more, too, you know? Mm. So it took me three years to get out of that, you know, just euphoria stage, too, because we all be, we all got something we chasing that's not good for us. Mm. You feel me? In some, shape, in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. What, what were you chasing that wasn't good for you? Girls, um... They chasing me too. Like it's not even just me chasing them. I'm over here turning around to yo. You chasing me? Oh yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Now I'm chasing you. What the? F oh, she threw me off. The barbarians. You <laughs> wouldn't know, right? But um, <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of stuff. It's, it's not even girls, cause girls are really never the problem unless you 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 let them be the problem or you become the problem. Mm. What's really the problem is just what you let become the problem, which for me was addiction, and I'm never sugarcoat that. You know, I have a, an addictive personality. Look at how I rap. I'm too 
consistent with the music because I got so much music. So when it got to the point that I got on, I had so much money. And then I'm just spending it on the wrong stuff, outfits I don't need, not managing your money. That's another bad habit that people need. It's like not cleaning your nails, you feel me? Like yeah. that happens at times, but I had to get that together, you know, because managing your money is important too, especially when you got yourself in a good position, you're working hard, you need to be able to do that. So it's a lot of stuff playing in part. Mm. So you've been working on like kind of addressing these addictions that you've had yeah. through your addictive personality. Of course. I mean, if you look at me through anything, even sports, like when I'm locked in with basketball, like the bros know, like I'll be wilding. I'm nice because, <laughs> bro, I'm the little one. So yeah. I always had to worry about big men. Men trying to block me. I'm going to end one left hand, switching lanes on them, shooting threes and crossing them. It got to the point when in high school, we got two nice. So why stop now? That's the same thing with rapping. So I'm, I'm already alert that I have an addictive personality. Now it's about what I channel that into. Family, the right things. I got a niece on the way. We, we mm -hmm. become a grown man. Right. I'm already in 20, 22. I'm about to be 23. Like That sounds scary to me. Two more years, I'm already 25, halfway through my 20s, so we got to lock in. Yeah, I'm like 27. What the fuck does that make me? I'm not, you with me. We still in the 20s. Nah, we still we in good the 20s. Don't worry, we in the 20s Shit, still. My, my clock's ticking, bro. Yeah, I our go clock lie. is ticking. We chilling, though. We working and we grinding. We doing good, so there's nothing to be, you know, baffled right. about. We good. Out of all those things that you just had mentioned to me, whether it be like the girls, the money, whatever, what was like the first thing that you were like, I got to take care of this first? My anger. Your anger, okay. Yeah, because I, uh, I had a lot of resentment towards the wrong people. And then I got a lot of resentment towards different people, too, that I don't even care enough to even... I got to recheck myself every time because I'm just like, if I have resentment, I care too much. Mm. In reality, I don't care that much about yeah. the things that don't matter, the things that aren't making me better as a person. So that's that's really what it was because I, I was... The fam been on our own trying to make it happen for a long time. So, you know, I was that, I was that little kid that came out and I'm just like, damn, we got to really make it happen. And that became my mindset every day. Let's make it happen from selling books to selling stuff, my own personal belongings outside to eat, to really being able to become a business. Thankful to my courtesy of my manager, courtesy to the team and the family for really, you know, seeing the goal and the vision. That's it. And then making it happen. Word. I respect that, bro. Thank you, bro. And now we're here. Well, so you work on an upcoming project. What's the new project called? Oh, well, I think I might do... um. Justin Irvin for J.I. because that's mm. my first and middle name. Yeah. So we might do that. And then um, we decide, or we might not even give you a name. We might just give you a picture. We got something. I got an idea. But we, we got something coming. Okay. We got a lot of music. So this next project going to be within the next two to three months. That's how I'm thinking mentally because... I'm working on Spanish stuff too. We got something locked in. I'm not gonna hold you. We there's a lot going on with Jay. So yeah. Well, that's what I was about to go into next because the the Nengo Flow record that's out now. Nengo Super started. dope. Mm -hmm. Um, I know Nengo. He's worked with other artists, I believe, from out here, if I'm not mistaken. How did you two first meet for this record? Miami. My okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember I had a house and for a lot of them, my manager's like, "Yo, we going mm -hmm. to Nengos." I'm like, "I right, bet." I had, I had all the guys there. We had a like we had a we had a we had too many people in that house. We was like wild and beautiful experience. You go to Nengo's to leave that house and then head to go to his house. His mother's there. She cooks us a beautiful meal. Like yo, like Puerto Rican meal, rice beans. I already know. Uh, was there pork chops or was there? Uh, yo, whoo, I remember. You gotta remember the cooking because it was made with love. Yo, Nengo is like a like a. Big, big brother, uncle figure to me because he, he believed in the vision from day one. Yeah. And he, I was, uh, I, I remember usually when I'm in sessions with people, I try to take like as, like not as long as I can, but I take, I'll be quick like usually. So that session, I, I wasn't quick at all. I wasn't even able to like really lock in with what I wanted to do and, and say. So the fact that he had enough patience was funny because I felt like I was over there making the experience too long because I'm just there now. I'm just sitting there like, dang, I got to say something. So I finally step in the booth and then it's crazy because this was two to three years ago. And then look, it just came out. That's on, wow, that's two, three years ago. Yo, yes. That's crazy. Like two, two years ago maybe. And I ended up uh, doing, doing, doing the hook and it came out and they, they, they re, uh, remade it and it sounds beautiful. I'm proud of his project. Shout out Nengo PR, we got this. So what? So what is some of the Spanish stuff that you're working on then? Just more, just more music with you singing in Spanish? Yeah, you know, nah, nah, nah. Let's not say it like that, you know, because we the, the stuff we doing is, is <laughs> different. 
Um, yeah, but if you want to say it like that, yeah, just more music with me singing in Spanish. Okay, we'll leave Facts. it at that. We'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, possibly featuring one of your, you know, favorite favorite artists. You never know. We got a lot of stuff going. That's just with Jr. I like that. You know, um, I think I had asked you this when we did the when we met at Rolling Loud like a year and a half ago. But I saw like you was on, I don't know if you was on live this summer with like Dougie and them. But you were playing the the record you had with K. Um, where you were dancing the, to ooh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, me, myself, and I. Yeah, yeah. Yo, free K too. Yeah, First of all, facts. yeah, free K. Free everyone that's locked up. All You're the right? bros, free chef, free everybody. Um, just speaking to him too. He he good. Chef good. Yeah. We ever gonna see that record? That record ever gonna see? I the was record? just thinking about it in there actually. That's funny. Um, chef, let me know when we get it done now. If you want to freestyle to now, nah, I wait for him to come home. Well, oh, so that record is the the. You talking about chef or me and K? Well, okay. Well, now I know you got the one with Chef too. I was talking about the one with Nah, with nah, because me and Chef don't got one yet. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's why I'm saying that. Let's do it, because I'm a good manifestation. I thought you had an unreleased with Chef. I thought that's what you were trying to say. Do I? Nah, we don't. Nah. Uh, okay, yeah, but that's his record. And so we just got to wait for that still, yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. I know the people really want I know the sample too, probably. It's like a lot going on with that record. But that record yeah, fire, though. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, that's the bro, man. I hope he in good spirits too, everybody. Word. You know, I also saw like, you know, because I know she, obviously she does music, but I saw the Krishan uh, FaceTime joint. Was that oh, like a music thing or was that just yeah, kind of like a... Yeah, yeah. Um, I got this record uh, in the stash that she want to get on. Whenever she ready, the record there, uh, it's called When Thugs Cry. Mm. Yeah, I, we was supposed to link up three weeks ago, actually, <laughs> in New York. So, um... Yeah, she was supposed to come down to the city, but uh, it just be too hectic when I come down, you know? So, yeah, we're going to link up. God bless her, too, Word. the family. So we got a new tape on the way, mm -hmm. um, some more stuff in Spanish on the way. Mm -hmm. What else you got cooking up that the people got to know about that we got? Anise, man. That's the main thing. Anise. We cook, well, and I'm not cooking. The little bro cooking it up. <laughs> <laughs> he cooked it up, chef. Yeah, we got the niece. I can't wait to like really get to speak to her and she laughing and, and pulling pranks on me because I know it's going to come early. It's going to be throwing me off like, oh, she already like us. Yo, this is OD. She's moving just like us. I'm going to be so happy. And yeah, family, man. Me starting my own family. Not now. <laughs> I'm Whoa. 23, puppy. <laughs> we go, who knows? I, you never know. But uh, yeah, whatever's in the plans for me, you know, whatever God got planned for me, we're going to tackle it and make sure we do it and get it done. Word, man. We're always excited, always happy for you. Um, by the time people see this, J.I. Freestyle, now's so go run that up. You have, a, you have a question for J.I., Cal? Come on, let's do it. Oh my oh, god, this is. Yeah. Come on, Cal. I don't know you have one for him. Okay. Oh, Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cal's Questions 2024. <laughs> J.I., my question for you. Today, earlier we were talking about uh, you know, money management yeah. and it's something that you're working on. Um, what's a purchase, what's the most outrageous purchase that you've made that really made you sit back and be like, wow, why did I do that? You want to say? Because you would know more, huh? Oh, a lot of, all these, everything, man. I mean, we, I'm already J.I. These jewelries, like, I, I want people to understand jewelry don't make you who you are. Mm. It's you that this makes you. Look, this is your direct My camera. bad. I've been downplaying you this whole time <laughs> looking at these two. And you're really the main one. That's my bad. So, yeah, uh, jewelry doesn't define you. Uh, jewelry don't make you happy. I'll be the one to tell you that. You got to make yourself happy. You heard? You make yourself happier when you, you do it yourself and you better yourself. That's the best way to do it. Because if, if you lose, at least you know you lost at your expense. Yes. If you win, at least you know you won at your expense. So uh, this, you got to make yourself happy. Like I said, there's times I put this on and I still don't feel like, like me. There's times I take it off and I, I feel more like me. So that's, that's how we do it. Like, that's it. But I think my most outrageous, nah, I wouldn't even say jewelry. I think it was just my penthouse I was staying at because I should have been bought a house. Like, it was just... Every month I was spending, man, it became a fun, it was just fun being there. Right. It was too fun. <laughs> I, I, I saw it recently. I'm like, man, that's the spot. <laughs> that's the spot. Good Cal's question, More man. More to come. That was a good one. Great well, one. Hey, look, man. Well, look, it's been a pleasure having you here. Check out the freestyle by the time y'all see this new project on the way. Before we get up out of here, let the people know they can follow you at. Anything else you want the fans know. Now's the time to do it. It's camera on the right right here. Um, Just know I'm thankful for my fans. I appreciate y'all for... uh. Sticking with the younger generation. Um, if you're young and you have a dream, get it done. You know, we got one life. Like I said earlier, bet on yourself and do it positively. Do it in the name of God, not in no wickedness, not in no mm -hmm. dumbness, not in arrogance and knowledge and, and confidence. You heard? And, and hope and faith. That's it. 
There you go. Well, make sure you go check out everything he has. Oh, make yeah. Check me out on, you know, all, my bad not to cut you off. Nah, all, you could. All social media platforms, Instagram, I am J.I, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, J.I, the Prince of New York. Yeah. yeah, we still got it, you heard? There you go. Well, make sure you go check out the project. Make sure you go look out for that new project. Go run up the record with Nango. Go run up the new single. Go follow him. Go show him some love. Yes. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But child already knew that. Till next time, on the radar. We out. Bow.